today I will explain you a use of uh, filters so now uh, to explain you how filters work what are their uses so what I have done I have taken a form and on this form I have actually uh, created three fields these are two date fields and this is an integer field I'll explain you uh, how we will make use of these three fields and a filter and create a workflow now to create a new filter you have to go here in the navigation section click here click a new filter now as the name of the form is form a so first of all now I have to select a form on which the filter should run just a minute okay so now I will select this form here okay now I have selected this form here now uh, as we have seen in the um, active links uh, that there are execution options run if if then we have um, if action sorry if and else sections so it's same applies here but here the difference is that in filters uh, first of all we don't have permissions so for filters basically uh, run on a server so it's irrespective of um, your permissions when you are basically executing a code so the filter will run if its condition is satisfied so let's see now how we can make use of this filter so run if condition you can set up as of your own uh, whatever condition you want to put so I'll not go detail uh, in detail in this so what I will do in the if action now uh, let's before going on to the actions I'll give you a scenario what I need to do is uh, on this form I have two date fields this is a start time uh, and this is an end time so what I will do I will take out a difference of these two and store this in this field which is an integer field in number of seconds so let me show you how we can use uh, the filter actions now uh, first of all I will add an action set field okay now I need to calculate a date difference so from here I will select this field which is time difference in seconds then now to calculate this field we will go here we will make use of another functionality available in remedy which is called run process so using these processes I will explain you how we can take out a difference normally we can also do a difference between two dates by subtracting uh, start time from end time and we'll get the same result but here the difference is that using the run processes normally when you are working in a production environment so you need to consider the business hours so all these processes here whenever they are doing any calculations they are basically considering the business hours so let's say we will say this application bus time time difference so this uh, gives us a difference between um, uh, this gi gives us a uh, difference between uh, start and an end date considering the um, business hours and also the um, result is uh, result which we get we get it in integer so I'll show you how we can get this so this is I have added a run process here now I need to add the field so I will close this go here in fields so I will say start time then I will say end time so this is very simple here I am using a run process to create a difference between the start time and end time and I am storing these values here in this field so you can see this is all stored so now this has um, um, uh, here I am using uh, making use of two uh, things one is set field and a run process now I will show you let's save this filter let me give just a name for my filter okay now the filter is saved I will go here so this is my form here 
so what I will do uh, just a minute I'll just refresh it now another thing is um, uh, we saw in active links that whenever we make changes to an active link we have to refresh the uh, we have to flush the cache but that doesn't apply to filters when you are using filters it works irrespective of this uh, cache thing so whenever you make a change it will be automatically reflected in the system you don't need to flush a cache for that so I will say new request so now the condition for this filter I forgot one more thing so the execution option which we have here so these are the execution options we have so currently I just forgot to put this so let me say I will say submit and I will save this so this filter will execute on a submit of a record so we have other options also like modify delete get and remerge service so this this service is an advanced option we have so you can explore it or I will take it in the further videos so just for understanding now I will use a submit command here sorry or submit uh, execution option so I'll go here so let me put a date start date let's say let's say 6 a.m. similarly I will put another so just for understanding I will use only one hour difference 7 a.m. and now I will save this record so now I have saved this record I will go and search for it so you can see it has automatically calculated a time difference between these two which is one hour and it has also converted this into the seconds which is 3600 um, 3600 seconds similarly uh, now uh, let's do one more thing let's do here let me just also say let's run this on modify also so you know i have just made a change in the filter i am not flushing any cache so what i will do now i will just say instead of 7 i will say 8 then I will save it you can see the difference or uh, the changes in the filter have automatically reflected now this filter also runs on modify action so similarly we have other operations in filter where you can make use of uh, these operations they are somewhat similar to active link but you can explore uh, different options uh, the difference uh, in filter is that uh, it runs on a server it, there are no permissions associated with it and uh, the important thing in filter the workflow is executed in phases so there are three phases in filter where uh, in the initial phase it executes uh, certain conditions in the second phase it executes certain conditions and in the third phase it executes certain conditions and this is followed for all the filters but if you want to override this phasing so there's a way of doing it there is a you can um, add uh, at the end of a filter you can add a particular uh, sign so to avoid the filter phasing I think I do not have it here but you can uh, research it and see it so how to avoid override filter phasing so in that what will happen uh, let me go back here so in that what will happen if you if you do not uh, overwrite filter phase then uh, there are certain commands which will be executed at phase one irrespective of your um, addition of commands here if you add let's say if I add a push field here I add a push field here before the set field action but now this push field uh, let me take it move action up now I have added a uh, push field action first now <coughs> when the filter will execute it will not execute this push field action it will execute the set field action first because the set field falls in phase 1 and push field falls in phase 2 so then uh, it will execute uh, set field and then it will execute push field so this is a normal operation but now if you want push field to execute first and then uh, set field you have to override this filter so there is a explain you before the uh, the uh, three phases of a filter so these are the th three phases which which basically in which the filter executes if we do not override it in the first phase you will see these ex actions will execute if they are added to the filter respective of uh, the sequence you add actions in the filter then uh, the second uh, phase is where these two actions will be executed push field and direct sql and the third phase which uh, will be 
have which will have these three actions like notify run process and dso now if in the phase if this phase 3 action fails so it will not hamper the operation so if there are any updates done on the phase 2 that will be con uh, that will be concluded there will be no rollback uh, because as these these and the phase 3 filter does not have any impact on the operations of the filter but the other two will have now if you want to override them and uh, uh, make the filter to um, execute as per the sequence uh, as per your own sequence then you have to add a back quote and an exclamatory mark to the end of the filter name i'll show you how let's say for example i will save this filter as uh, sorry just a minute i will delete this section I will let's say I will save this filter as then I have to add this to an exclamatory mark at the end of the filter and then this filter will override the phases and you can execute all the actions as per your sequence in the filter thank you